further ado, this is Dawn of War 2. The map, of course, as you saw, is Pale Tooth Gorge, and our players at the south is Guru Skippy as our commando, nope, not commando, sorry, our mech boy. And at the top is Red Crown as the Lord Commissar. So we've got orcs versus Imperial Guard on Pale Tooth Gorge. This is a large, uh, fairly large open map. Uh, not a lot of little windy, fiddly bits. Both players going immediately for power with their uh, initial squad. Power is incredibly important, of course, in Dawn of War 2. Um, for tech units and teching up. Sentinel up for Red Crown. We've got two squads of Slugger Boys and one of Shooters so far for Guru Skippy. Of course, the first couple seconds of the match are just trying to capture resource points. We do have the Sentinel squaring off against the Mech Boy, uh, actually more than holding its own at this point. <laughs> Teleporting away over near some guards. Squad. There they go, capturing the first victory point, and then uh, Guru Skippy does as well over here. Mechboy is holed up in this structure while the uh, Slugger Boys come to help him out. Sentinel still causing problems. Uh, it's base camp, it's a uh, bolter, rather, or whatever it's called. Jeez. Does a tremendous amount of early game damage. It's taken a bit of damage as well, but uh, really dishing out the hurt of the force. Almost took out that Slugger Boy squad there. Commissar and Sentinel uh, is a formidable combination, and the Shudas are not really <laughs> suitable for melee combat. Lord Commissar chasing off those Shudas. Uh, Sluggers, I don't know what their, what their plan is right now. Mech is very low, Sentinel is very low, everything is pretty, uh, pretty hurting right now on both sides. Don't want to, um, miss the action over here while these Slugger Boys are trying to take out these Guardsmen infantry. Uh, they're not going to be able to do too much more because there's just too much stuff. That ground pound goes down and the Sluggers, uh, actually managed to scare off both of those Guardsmen infantry and are eventually scared off of themselves by the Sentinel. Let's take a quick look at where else everyone else is. Red Crown continuing to capture the map with his um, Lord Commissar. Actually has missed a power node up here that's not, not great for him. Um, Mech and Shoot is out. Right now, Mech actually getting the Deca 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 war gear, trying to take out that Sentinel, holding up in a water pump to try to save himself. Uh, Sentinel getting dangerously low, 36 hit points left. Uh, Lord Commissar launching or uh, using a, an ability to shield himself to try to take out these Shudas. Orcs are chased off, so. Our IG player has bought himself some room. These sluggers look like they might have been trying to go for this victory point, but forced to come into combat to try and see. I'm not entirely sure what happened there. Uh, what that explosion was. We actually have Catacan Devils on the field. I missed that. Actually, the um, Sentinel also uh, was taken out, it looks like. Oop, I forgot to hide that. Sure, sure, I'm sure you know who's best. Tangled up proper. They coming after us, Slugger's pulling back, which is giving our uh, IG player plenty of time to harass this power farm and to cap the center of the map. Finally getting that power, which is, of course, more important than the combat that's going on. Those Catacan doubles with their... Um, their grenade launcher thing, is they're just nuts. Uh, they are running off the field while these guardsmen are just, you know, merely pulling back. This is giving Guru Skippy time to try to start capping. And he does chase the Lord Commissar off the field. Both players, I think, saving up at this point for Tier 2. 
Guru Skippy actually starting it now on his teleporter platform. So potentially a little ahead of Red Crown at the moment. Red Crown has not yet started his tier two, possibly due to reinforcement costs, actually. Guru Skippy is uh, almost 100 points down in the VP count, but is trying to capture that central VP, also getting points elsewhere on the map. Uh, trying to harass this power farm. Power harass is very important, and we see both players uh, already trying to start engaging with it, even in the early game. Uh, this would have been great if Guru Skippy would have been able to capture this victory point, but Red Crown being super... Did you see those grenades? They just immediately explode. It's very hard to dodge, and it's really high impact. Mechboy teleporting away briefly. Um... Commissar was already hurt when he came into combat, so he's definitely out of it now. And these uh, Catacan Devils, while they are very potent fighters, uh, can't do too much by themselves. Meanwhile, we have two Guardsmen Infantry Squads here taking on these Slugger Boys and chasing them off this Power Node, which was uh, the um, upgrade on it was destroyed. So right now, um, Red Crown is at a power disadvantage. Uh, he is getting tier 2 at the moment, while Guru Skippy is getting the Weird Boy formidable spellcaster coming out. Mech Boy getting caught out a bit, um, those Shudas and that mech being forced off the map. Meanwhile, Red Crown is, he's a uh, little hurt, but he's getting back out on the map. Um, right now, Guru Skippy has all three victory points, and that is changing at the moment, thanks to the Lord Commissar and one of those Guardsmen infantry squads. Meanwhile, the Catacan Devils are involved in doing some power harass. And the uh, Sluggers are coming in to try to make something happen, but Catacan Devils are just too scary one-on-one. -on -one. Now these Sluggers have a Burna equipped, and we'll have to see, well, they chase off those Catacan Devils. Okay, so we do have the Weird Boy with these Sluggers, and we have a Stormtrooper squad coming out and equipping with the Assault Kit. So we have a lot of infantry models out on the field right now for our IG player who is scared off by the... I think that weird boy just hit his own squad and killed a, killed a model off of him. Whoops. <sighs> okay, Guardsman Infantry Squad trying to cap a point here while the Lord Commissar is over here making himself a nuisance. Uh, Guru Skippy midfield right now with a lot of his stuff. The Weird Boy is hurt. Upgraded with War Path. Good idea. You're to our post, boss. Let's see, I think I heard, yeah, we have the custom force field upgrade on the mech. Um... Weird boy getting the heck out of dodge thanks to this big ball here of IG forces. Lord Commissar doing some power harass but ultimately being forced back. And we have these Catacan Devils and uh, Stormtrooper kind of dancing around the middle to see what they can do. Right now, Red Crown is a bit behind in terms of the DP score. Both players just trying to find an opening and continuing to try to gather uh, points. Stormtroopers getting the heck out of dodge, as well as the Catacan Devils. Guards and infantry trying to pull back, but the neck is like right there. Meanwhile, these guardsmen infantry, I think, were supposed to have been tasked to capture this power node. There we, there we go. Oh, don't know what they're. I guess they're gonna try to capture this, or maybe the. Um, VP. Meanwhile, we have down here a Slugger Boy gathering a point. 
mech coming up to try to do some power harass. Uh, we do have some additional forces coming out. The stormtroopers are there, and the Catacan Devils coming in to do their devilish deeds. Lord Commissar there to... Oh my god, the weird boy hit his own squad again and forces them to retreat. Guru Skippy missing some uh, shots there with that weird boy that's hurting him, literally. Guru Skippy being forced back. We have a second Stormtrooper squad and going to tier 3 for uh, Red Crown. So he is, he's got a plan, he knows what he's doing. He's trying to capture the VPs back. Here we go, the Lord Commissar out there trying to capture that. Meanwhile, we've got some power harass as well as these sluggas. Uh, yeah, sluggas. One model left, just barely getting out of there. Let's see, there we go, more power harass from these stormtroopers, both of which have been upgraded with the assault kit, and the Catacan and Devils are joining in because why not? Meanwhile, some uh, harass of this requisition point. As well, we've got some capturing going on here for Red Crown. <laughs> Red Crown laying down some hurt on Guru Skippy. Guru Skippy behind Red Crown going to tier three. So a relatively quick tier three for both players, actually. Um, maybe not super quick, but certainly a lot quicker than the last game I uh, commentated. I'm pretty sure. Whoa! Watch your camera, Wayward. Weird Boy taking some shots there, barely making it out of there. Whew. Guru Skippy all around is just kind of hurting at the moment. Lots of units on low health, lots of units on uh, low models. Sluggas with their Burna actually is chasing off those both of their Stormtrooper squads. Um, we'll have to see how they hold up against the Lord Commissar. Lord Commissar pops his shield, that's going to make him immune to what the Slugger boys are trying to do. Meanwhile, now at tier 3, looted tank coming out for Guru Skippy. Uh, Red Crown saving up potentially for something else. Little fight here going on between these Sluggas and the Guardsmen Infantry. Guardsmen being chased off. They're running to a building, not uh, full on retreating though, so well played by Red Crown. Guru Skippy trying to recap the map. Mech Boy did level up. Just kind of a lot of capturing going on here. Um, the Slug is taking some damage from the Guardsman Infantry and being forced back. However, some more Slug is coming to take their place. As per how orcs like to fight. Weird Boy trying to cap the middle does not uh, get the chance to do that, but puts a little bit of damage on these Stormtroopers. Meanwhile, the looted tank is out and ready for a fight, and a Lehman Russ coming out from our IG. Okay, a point being captured here, another point being captured over here by Guru Skippy. Got the looted tank in the middle. Actually had a entire Slugger squad go down. Um, no, that was the Shooter. The Shooter boys actually died here. Uh, so not great. Lord Commissar about to die and does go down. That is a big loss for Red Crown. So the mech uh, is pretty happy with that kill. Shoot a most bigger. Orcs being forced to pull back left and right. Commando squad coming out for some targeted assassinations. And the Lehman Russ makes its appearance. I'm actually not, whoa, <laughs> a little too far. Entirely sure if the Lehman Russ is going to outmatch the looted tank, hopefully we will get a definitive answer there. Right now only one VP captured and that belongs to Red Crown. Weird Boy being forced back by the Lehman Russ and Red Crown looking to expand his VP number as well as trying to recapture the map. Meanwhile, we do have Slugger Boys trying to grab one of their own VPs. Um, mech running through all this fire here as a uh, retreat action. Do not want to miss this fight, which is we have some mines go down and the looted tank is being boosted. 
chasing off that Lehman Russ. The Commando squad out, putting some additional damage on the Lehman Russ as well. He is getting low, but the Guard 3 infantry coming to try to help deal with the Commando. The Lehman Russ does get out for now. Looted tank also is okay. Both are damaged. The uh, looted tank is less so at the moment. We have tank busters coming out. Commando squad moving forward. Weird boy trying again to take that middle VP. Right now, uh, Guru Skippy is almost 100 points, more than 100 points behind his opponent. Uh, not unrecoverable, but a dangerous position to be in, of course. Weird boy, probably not gonna take uh, get a chance to take that VP, but uh, good on him for trying. Yeah, forced to back away. The blue tank coming forward. Tank bust is here, taking some unnecessary damage, but still helping out. Lehman Ross not quite healed up, but uh, upgraded with the Vanquisher weapon and uh, being repaired. So it's almost almost on full. The uh, looted tank is taking some damage, so I guess the looted rust does outmatch the looted tank one on one, especially when it's being prepared. Deck boy teleporting in behind the tank though, and potentially this could change things a little bit. Thomas are trying to do the same thing. Um, the looted tank does go down. So, not great for Guru Skippy. That Lehman Russ is still there, but the Mech Boy is doing his darndest to take it out. Forced off. Slugga is uh, inadvertently chasing the Lord Commissar almost to the base. Uh, and here come the Stormtrooper squads out to try to help the Lehman Russ. <coughs> which actually is about to go down thanks to these commandos and tank busters. Uh, it manages to take it out, but these uh, stormtroopers are pretty hurt at the moment. Actually, another squad of tank busters on the field for our orc player. Um, right now, Guru Skippy has basically complete control of the map, and I don't really like what Red Crown is doing here, trying to push out with just a couple of squads. Um, Lord Commissar is partially healed now, actually does have the Emperor's Wrath War here, which grants him the off-map uh, ability. But yeah, right now Guru Skippy is in a pretty good position. Um, he is losing this VP to the Catacan Devils, and he is um, about 100 points behind again. Um, but in terms of map control, he's doing really well. Catacan Devils are forced to retreat. Mech Boy probably going to, there we go, trying to capture that. Uh, Lord Commissar on the back side here, trying to recap some of these points to increase the parity. Um, oh, <laughs> Stormtroopers tried to dodge that weird boy shot but uh, it missed. Other Stormtrooper squad going out trying to work on VPs. We're us trying to put this capture but it's not gonna work. Commandos up here trying to get a surprise shot and Lehman Russ actually gets taken a tremendous amount of damage and will die in another volley if it's not careful and Red Crown I guess was not careful and loses his tank. Not great right now there's a pretty big uh, discrepancy in the number of squads very much favoring Guru Skippy. Uh, however the BPs at least for now favor the other player. So we've got a support power coming down from Red Crown. But Weird Boy not letting that happen. Uh, actually, really bad, losing another squad right now. One of those Stormtrooper squads went down, and one of those Guardsmen Infantry. So, Red Crown has a lot of catching up to do, and it's looking pretty grim for him. Um, Lord Commissar managing to drive a lot of these squads off, but uh, is also very low on health himself. Weird Boy being very annoying running away. Um, <laughs> Catacan Devils have really paid for themselves. Meanwhile, uh, Kazakhan squad out Tier 3 Infantry. Um, 
from all accounts, pretty formidable. Putting up a big fight against that mech. Whose custom force field uh, saves him to let him get away and fight another day. The Guru Skippy coming out with a, another looted tank. Kevin Cannon going for the launchers. Uh, big fight here. Not a big fight here, because it's just the one squad, and they are forced to retreat. Three on one, usually not a big fight, Wayward. <laughs> Orcs stepping on some mines, not ideal. Potentially getting hit again. Yep, there we go. Suppressed by the mines. Again. <laughs> Whoops. Guru Skippy recapping these two points, taking advantage of his opponent being off the field. Meanwhile, Red Crown going, I'm sorry, that's not, that's Red Crown with the Kazakhan squad. Um, meanwhile, however, Guru Skippy taking this one with some tank busters and as well as the Weird Boy out here. Weird Boy being really disruptive um, and annoying. And there's not really much to directly take out this looted tank. Um, Red Crown forced to retreat again. Very bad for him. Um, it looks like he's probably saving up. There we go. We got a heavy weapon squad. Um, that's kind of a weird choice to me. I guess it's to deal with a looted tank, but obviously another vehicle probably would have been preferable. However, that being said, we have these tank busters who are doing some dedicated power harass right now, taking out the uh, activated power node defenses. Um, Red Crown is doing tolerably well at trying to recapture the map. Not here, however, because of those squads. Heavy weapons team. Mech Boy teleporting out to try to be a nuisance. Heavy weapons team uh, not finding a good spot to set up, trying to relocate. Um, another, another retreat from Red Crown uh, puts him in a pretty bad position. The Mech Boy taking some grenades off this Kazakhan. Um, actually hurt him pretty badly. And forcing him to retreat. Heavy Weapon Squad trying to find a place to be. We have a Liz Cannon upgrade. That makes sense. Um, a lot of the map is in the hands of Guru Skippy, who's getting another looted tank. After having one on the field already, this is a really bad unit disparity for Red Crown. Red Crown is still ahead for now in terms of VPs, but uh, that's not going to last because he is. Oh no. Heavy Open Squad is taken out. We have a support power going off there for the orcs, support power going off here for our. IG, Lord Commissar goes down. He had his um, claw for here. But that's that's pretty bad there with the uh, Lord Commissar going down. There's really nothing to stop these tanks at this point. Stormtrooper very low on health, very close to going down. Guardsman infantry uh, trying to help out. This Slugger Boys ended up like in the enemy base. And. Guru Skippy um, wins due to a Red Crown GG. So, yeah, after about the halfway point, it started getting really bad for Red Crown. Um, he just couldn't really maintain map presence, and a series of worse and worse trades allowed Guru Skippy to get these double looted tanks. And this heavy weapon squad, I don't think, ever got to so much as like kill something. I guess it got a little bit of experience, but mostly it spent a lot of time um, trying to find a position. And with the death of that Lord Commissar, and what's the level disparity? Mech level 5 to level 3. Um, doesn't mean as much as in some other games like Warcraft 3, but still not a great sign for our IG player. So some great plays from the IG player, uh, but losing the Sentinel early was not great. Um, that Stormtrooper squad that went down was pretty bad. And, yeah, Red Crown did spend a lot of his time on the back foot. Um, 
I think there was like one or two moments where he really felt like he was dominating the map, but Guru Skippy was patient, didn't lose squads, and you know, he had, when the Lehman Russ was there, he made it work with its, the tank busters and the commando knobs, or the commando squad. Um, but yeah, fun match. Um, not quite as balanced as you would want it to be, but still pretty fun to watch, I think, hopefully. And to wrap it up, I'm going to have to say I'm Wayward, and this has been Dawn of War 2 Elite Mod. I'll catch you next time.